Let's work on those calves. Bring the heel forward. Let your arms move naturally. Let's start right off with the arms. There we go. Touch that heel down. Stretch out the calf and shin region. There we go. Work around. Now, to any of our viewers who work in sales, here's a thought for today. Sales is either the highest paid, hardest job or the lowest paid, easiest job. It's all in your attitude. There's an American painter, her name is Grandma Moses, and she once said, life is what we make it. Always has been, always will be. Very, very true. Well, how are you gonna make your life? What are you gonna make of it? How are you gonna make your day? You know, I was thinking about this, and instead of saying to people, how, how is your day? We should be saying, how, how are you going to make your day? What do you want to make your day? You know, we, we really, I think we really need to realize that we're in charge of how we feel and how we respond to situations. Okay, count down to change. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch that toe back. Just touch back. Now, this is good. Little toe touch, or if you can, open it up. There we go. Do what you can, whatever is most comfortable. The main thing is that you're trying to do the best that you can do. That you're up and you're moving, and you're deep breathing, you're drinking your six to eight, at least six to eight, eight ounce glasses of spring water daily. Yes, that you're eating better, eating real foods, not packaged foods, not as many packaged foods as maybe you used to. Okay, take care of yourselves. I've said it before, if you don't take care of your body, where are you gonna live? Count down, five, four, three, two, and one. Push down and then pull up. Working the triceps, this area here. Push down and pull up, strong arms. Good for you. Big deep breaths. Okay, good. And if you're ready, Greek, one to 10. One is Ina, Vio, Clia, Tesra, Pende, Exi, Epta, Octo, Enya, and Vega. Here we go, lift to the rear, legs are apart. Lift and lift. Follow the foot stays in full contact. There you go. Okay, again, if you like, this is fine. That's good. If you can, lift them right up. Good. Okay, fingertips either resting on your waistline, resting, no clinching. Okay, or down by your side, whatever's best for you. Come forward and back. There you go. Roll through the entire foot, please. Do not stay up on the ball of the foot. That can actually cause shin splints. Okay, pain in the lower frontal leg region. And then you're going to have to rest, ice. Okay, and you might not be able to exercise for a while. So please take care. Exercise on a well-padded surface. I actually have two carpets here. The carpet you see on top and then there's one beneath. Five, four, three, two, one, down by your side, and then up. There you go. Do it again. Stretch right up. Okay, you're doing fine. You're doing a good job. Let me hear you breathe, though. Please don't hold your breath. Good. Okay. What was that noise? <laughs> Sorry, it's grunting and groaning out there. Well, if you have to grunt and groan to get through it, you go right ahead and grunt and groan. If you're sitting there watching us grunting and groaning, we need to talk. Countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs together, supersetting the hamstring region, the bottom. Supersetting means when you're doing more than one exercise for the same muscle group. So we're really concentrating on that area here. There we go. Deep breaths. One nice thing about exercising regularly too is that if you do get away from exercising for whatever reason or excuse you may have, it doesn't take long to get back into shape, back into the swing of things. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one, down and up. There you go. And I know sometimes people are away on vacation and they take a little break and that's fine. I'd rather you do that than get bored with our exercises. And some of you are cross-training, which means that you're doing other activities aside from aerobics here, which is good. Some people who do some stationary cycling, some rowing, some power walking. Good for you. Count down, 10, nine, eight. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. I didn't hear you count. Please count. Ten, nine, very good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Knees come up again. If you have lower back problems, where do the knees go? What level? Good, good, good. Okay, if you don't have lower back problems, knees can come up. There you go. Do what you can. Lift, lift. Posture is good all the while. Please take care. And thank you for exercising with me through the years here. It's been a long time. We've done uh, over 800 shows. Can you believe that? <laughs> My word. Okay, uh, forward and back in your movement. There you go. Forward and back. And you know, You've probably noticed that there are about 12 movements that I do during this cardiovascular section, and that's it, because the other exercises that I could do, they're just a little too risky. Okay, they involve a lot of torque on the knee joints, so I'm not gonna do them. So we'll stick with our exercises. I'll try and make it fun by playing trivial games and giving you fun and interesting tips. Wearing different leotards, different music, different set. <laughs> Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, and one touch beneath the bent knee. Now, if you have any suggestions for the show, jot down the address. We give out the address daily here on the Everyday Workout. Let me know what your suggestions are, and if we can accommodate you, we will. Okay, forward and back. There you go. Good. And when I do my workout workshops, it's always interesting to sit and chat with you about suggestions for the show, or when I do the telephone chats. That's interesting. And thank you for writing. I read all of your mail. Although I had to go to a form letter to respond, but I do the telephone chats. That's one way of communicating with you. Okay, count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now what I'd like you to do is bring the knee across the body. Lift it across. There you go. Careful not to take too wide of a stance here. You don't want to stress that knee joint. There you go. Lift it across. Good for the bottom. Gluteus maximus, minimus, and medimus. Yes. Come forward and back. Arms in five, four, three, two, one at a 45 degree angle. Reach out, elbows come back to the waist. Reach and pull. If you're feeling dizzy, you've just started exercising with us, please stop, step from side to side, maybe have a seat. Okay, grab a glass of water. Chances are you've overexerted yourself. Okay, just do what you can. This is good, that's fine. You're moving, if your heart rate is up, that's fine. Eventually, you may get to this point, or you may not, it doesn't matter. The main thing is, is that you're working within a safe heart rate target zone, okay? Don't stress your body. Exercise does not have to be all sweat and grunting and groaning and moaning, okay? It does not have to be. Think of your posture good, okay? And if you're ready, Fijian. Ek, Dwi, Ting, Char, Punch, cha, sat, at, no, dose. I thought maybe you could count with me. Some of you did, good. Those who didn't, don't worry about it for a second. Gives you something to work on for next time. Okay, touch back. Watch that knee again. There we go. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach right up if you don't have neck problems. If you have neck problems, come to shoulder height. There you go. If not, up you come. Strong arms, though. Yes, as though you're underwater. Very good. Good. Ah, we have some little exercisers out there. You're doing a good job. And we have some canines. Yes, we do. <laughs> we have some cats and dogs exercising, too. I've received a number of letters from people that actually have pictures of their cats and dogs doing the exercises. It is hilarious. I'll have to dig some out for you. And if you're ready, let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's it. Locate your pulse, either in your neck or in your wrist. Try not to push too hard. That may give you an inaccurate reading. Count for 10 seconds, beginning now.
okay. Stop counting. Have a look at our heart rate target zone chart. Find your age along the chart and then the number that you've just counted. Remember, that's a safe range to work within. We're going off to commercial break. You are more than welcome to do more cardio. And I will see you back for tummy torture time. Please don't go away.